Yes! Hey people, Dante here with the Raging Geek. Right now we're going to do a battery swap of an APC back UPS XS1000. So we recently had a hurricane incident in my area. Uh, it's in the northeast. So, you know, the power went out. Being as old as this unit is, uh, it didn't provide any backup battery power, even though it was constantly plugged in. You know, so the power went out and, you know, nothing was being powered after. So, you know, it's a good indication that being, you know, given the age of this unit, uh, the batteries inside are no longer viable. You know, they don't hold the charge. You have to swap the batteries out, which is a good option. So, you, you, you know, you're not forced to buy an entirely new unit, which could run you a couple of hundred dollars, uh, depending on the model. This particular model, we were able to find backup batteries for $30 on Amazon. Um, they're Sigma Tech batteries. Um, so there's actually two batteries in this unit that need to be replaced. We got it from a retailer called Battery Sharks on Amazon for about $31. So it's really cheap alternative to actually buying a new UPS unit. Uh, so I can provide you a decent uh, DIY on how to swap the batteries for this particular unit. And we're going to start opening it up. This particular unit, the, the battery swap is extremely easy. Um, you just lay the unit on its, on its side. And uh, there's two tabs here, which you press in. And then you pull upwards. And then it slides out like so. And then you see the two uh, batteries. So lift tabs and pull. And they come out as one unit. This is where the actual the batteries emit the charge and get charged. So the battery's got to go. The middle piece stays. So we have to disconnect the batteries from this center piece here. So they're basically, the batteries are basically being held together by the tape here. So the tape still, if you peel off the tape, it still has some sort of adhesion here. Um, so we're going to hold on to that. Um, And remember, you know, when disposing of these batteries, you want to dispose this at a, an appropriate recycling center or a battery drop-off facility. Each, each battery has two prongs, which uh, you need to take the connectors off on each one. And they just basically slide off. see that so this middle piece you're going to keep you don't discard this this is where the new batteries are going to plug into so we're going to take off these connectors if we can so you probably the way you want to do this is hold the bottom piece pull down and then slide down with your thumb and it comes right off and you're going to do the same with the other side 
So hold the middle piece, hold the end, and then push down. So hold hold the bottom of the of the connector and then push down with your thumb. And that's it. So we've disconnected our old batteries. We'll place these on the side where they can be properly disposed of at a later time. batteries and first we're going to take off our safety tabs and discard those okay and first we're going to plug our first battery in tilt it up like this and then slide it in black to black and red to red over be the same for this battery red to red black to black okay Alright, so the side that doesn't have the connector is the side you're going to point these tabs to. You line up the holes here. We're going to make sure now these pins they seem to um, lean towards one side so what you want to do is make sure you line the pins up with the connector inside the unit um, the way I have it right now it lines up exactly how the original did um, I don't know if you can see in here, you see that little connector in there? That's where the pins line up and they, uh, they slide into. So we're going to slide our battery in. Hopefully it slides in without any issues. It seems like it did. Okay, so with our battery plugged back in, we're going to slide our cover back on. Make sure you line up the grooves, it should slide in very easily until you just get the click. And that's it have successfully changed the batteries on an APC back UPS XS1000 power supply. I'm going to plug this in now. It seems to power on perfectly. You see the display light. 
the battery meter is showing it's fully charged and the display light is also showing an online status there's no load registered because obviously there's nothing plugged into it what is important is will it still charge even after I've pulled out the unit from the wall so if I pull the unit off the wall and now it's strictly on, you see how it switched from online to now it's on battery power so now I will plug in and there you go charging and you see how the battery meter is being depleted and it's charging so that's it um, hope you enjoyed this video uh, thanks for watching we got more cool stuff coming at the Raging Geek got some painting, got some models, got some toy builds stay tuned, thanks for watching and come again Raging Geek all things geek, where geeks can be geeks, raging geek, retro, all things geek, where geeks can be geeks.